<laughs> Hi guys, and welcome back to another episode of STEM at Home with me, Miss Jenny, and welcome back to my kitchen. Um, this week I have another classic experiment for you, and it's especially good because it's been so hot this week. We are gonna be making ice cream. So just imagine that we're outside, it's hot, maybe we're on the beach somewhere, maybe we're sitting in the shade and we have some ice cream. That is the vibe that we're gonna go for today. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, to make ice cream for this experiment, you're gonna need half a cup of half and half or whole milk, a tablespoon of sugar, a splash of vanilla, half a cup of salt, rock salt is best, but you can use table salt like I am, a bunch of ice, Ugh. a small plastic bag, like a quart size or sandwich size that seals at the top really well, a gallon size bag that also seals well at the top, and if you're so inclined, a pair of gloves to shake up the ice cream because it's gonna get really cold. All right, so our first step to get started making ice cream is you wanna take your sandwich size or quart size bag first and open it up and you're going to pour in your half and half. I actually have um, heavy whipping cream here and that's because I didn't have half and half. So I'm hoping this works. So to this, we're also gonna add our um, tablespoon of sugar. And you can also add, I'm gonna add a little splash of vanilla, just a little bit, okay? This would also be a good time if you want to make this chocolate ice cream. You could add um, chocolate syrup at this point, just a couple tablespoons. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it vanilla. And what you wanna do is you wanna seal the bag and try to get out as much air as you can before you seal it shut. I'm also gonna mix this up a little bit before we work on the second part and make sure all the ingredients are mixed together well in the small bag. So for our second part is we need to make it really cold for the ice cream. So we're gonna take our gallon bag and we're going to fill it about halfway with ice. Once it's filled about halfway, then you're going to sprinkle in your half cup of salt. Then you're gonna take your smaller bag that has your almost ice cream in it, put it down in the ice, and then top that, top that with more ice. All right, once it's about full, go ahead and seal the top really, really well. And now it's time to shake. So we're gonna shake this bag for up to 10 minutes or once the ice cream starts to freeze. You can use gloves if you're by yourself and the bag gets really cold like I am, or if you have someone else in the house, go ahead and play like cold potato instead of hot potato and pass the bag around with each other. So what's the science behind adding the salt to the ice? So water freezes at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and any higher, it melts. But ice cream freezes and melts at a lower temperature than water because of the sugar and fats in the ice cream, which means it needs to be really, really cold to freeze ice cream, colder than water's cold. So when you add salt to the ice, salt actually lowers the freezing and melting point temperatures for water. This way, the ice cream can thicken and freeze well. So a slushy, salty ice mix is actually much colder than just plain ice cubes. And I think you guys will feel it as you shake up your ice cream. So I've shaken this bag for about mm, six minutes. This has gotten really cold, which is why I had to use the dish towel to hold it and the gloves. Um, I basically checked on it about halfway to kind of see if it's getting harder inside the ice cream, which you can kind of feel. So let's go ahead and open this. But before you do, make sure to rinse the outside of the smaller bag because it's gonna be covered in salt and you may not want that in your ice cream, so make sure to rinse it off before you open it. So let's go ahead and um, open it, see what it looks like inside. Ooh, 
It does have a very ice creamy um, consistency. Obviously, if you kept it in longer, it would be a little more solid, but that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and do a taste test of this. <laughs> really good. Really good. Tastes exactly like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> so I hope you guys had fun today. Thanks for joining me, and I will see you next Thursday. <laughs> Bye. Um, <laughs> um,